This is definitely a what the F type movie. Let's get real. Hi, I'm Jay Bunting Johnson. Subscribe if you're new and you like this video. Following the sudden death of his mother, a mild-mannered but anxiety-ridden man confronts his darkest fears as he embarks on an epic Kafka-esque odyssey back home. As the credits rolled, I was sat there not knowing what to think or feel. It makes me think about directors at their creative peaks. I'm thinking about directors such as Francis Ford Coppola with movies like The Cotton Club and Apocalypse Now, the infamous Heaven's Gate by Michael Cimino, something like a New York, New York from Scorsese, and most recently, Babylon, which I reviewed earlier this year, directed by the talented Damien Chazelle. These are films that wouldn't exist unless the director had created a work or works that had previously astounded, and therefore created a space, a moment in time, to take a legitimate cinematic chance, the effects of which have varied widely. With Ariasta, it was the one-two knockout punch of Hereditary and Midsummer. Films that took the horror genre to spooky, psychological highs and that were both hauntingly freaky and meticulous. The basic story of Bo is... Uh, I don't really bloody know. But Bo tries to go and see his mother. In a nutshell. But please don't let that simplicity lull you into thinking that you'll easily decipher this movie. Because you won't. But yeah, Psychological Odyssey probably best coins it. Though I came away seriously questioning whether what any of what's on screen was actually real. I kept waiting for the penny to drop, either for me as well as the film. But this film flat out refuses to meet you or anyone else halfway. So I think you'll either commend it or will leave you seething or a combination of both. I'm visiting my mother tomorrow. The best I can come up with is that Bo is Afraid is a series of wildly, tonally different scenarios that Bo has to navigate and survive. Cast-wise, everyone in this film are game and totally committed to the all-encompassing world building, including Amy Ryan, Nathan Lane, Patti Lupone, and Zoe Lister-Jones. But if a film like this has any shot at working, then the central performance has to be totally unshakably on point. And Joaquin Phoenix's bow is truly one such totally committed performance. We see this world through his sympathetic, traumatized, yet fragile eyes, taking a deep dive into this character's psyche like very few films before it. Ultimately, whether you like the movie or not, Ariasta has to be applauded for pulling off if that's even a word. Something so thoroughly committed and audacious. For all its wildly differing turns, you never get the impression that the director at least doesn't know where he's going. And that is the thing that keeps Bo the character and us, the audience, on course. Through pretty much whatever tonal terrain the film happens to be on. The final, final thing I'll say on it is that I've seen a lot of independent films over the years. And you come to realize that it's a surprising few that actually have the cojones to risk it all and really be a servant to the form. Most are happy to do a variation on what's gone before, creating pretty pictures, sometimes telling great stories, but rarely risking enough, failure that is, to push the form forward. And this film really does feel like that. There's very little you can compare it to and it's truly doing its own original thing. You know you're into something when you're unable to mentally define what you've just seen. And bringing my thoughts full circle, that's exactly how I felt when the credits finally rolled. I have my own thoughts on what the film was actually about, but this is a psychological odyssey that's like very little I've ever seen, and it's worth seeing on that alone. For true lovers of true cutting edge and explorative cinema, as well as art in general, this is a must see. I think I saw Hereditary without knowing anything about Ariesta and was instantly blown away by his meticulous attention to detail. A real eerie yet intentional, controlled, like he was a real strong puppet master of a storyteller, which is ultimately what the good ones most often are. It was just very, very, very sharp and it was very eerie and the performances as well as the tone if not unique felt exceptional and from there 
you know, for me anyway, Ariesta is is some guy you're looking out for. And then I saw um, Midsummer. I didn't think much of the trailer, to be honest. Watched it eventually on Amazon Prime. And my God, that film, uh, again, it's just, it gets under your skin. It's the, the psychological aspect of horror, which not enough, in my opinion, horror filmmakers really attack, or they haven't, certainly until Ariesta came along, is really apparent. I mean, he, he really, he crawls inside of your mind and he has a different perspective. You can see that as a human being, he isn't an empty vessel just trying to create our uh, scares. He has actually something to say. Having something to say with the skill set that he has and the cinematic voice that he has, you get Ariesta. So with this new film, uh, Bo is Afraid, I think with the inclusion of, of course, the, the, the great Joaquin Phoenix, all the ingredients are, are, are rife. What will this film be like? I don't think anyone could possibly be prepared for the film that was made though, Bo is Afraid, feels like the, the inner workings of someone's deepest fears played out. It's like imagination and and someone's, someone who's unhinged in the first place for various reasons, traumatized, their interpretation perhaps of life played out or them on drugs played out. That's all I can really say. This guy has made three really distinct films, has a very distinct energy and really, I don't know if it's braveness or whether he just has no choice because some people just are compelled to do what they do. Either way, we're all the benefactors of this guy's mind, <laughs> which uh, is a little bit nutty, but hey, and it's the kind of bravery that you, you kind of have to commend and, and encourage because there isn't enough of it in my, in my view. Interestingly, I've seen a few films uh, back to back recently, two of which at least are, well, all three actually are big blockbuster films. Of those films, strangely, Bo is the most cinematic. It's also the most challenging, don't get me wrong, but it's also just, it understands cinema the most. But yeah, I can't recommend it highly enough and that isn't to even necessarily say that you're going to love it. It's just to say you have to see it. I really hope that Ari Aster and Joaquin Phoenix continue their union. It feels like the beginning of something magical. Joaquin Phoenix is, um, if not amongst the most interesting actors on the planet, probably the guy. His commitment, his choices, his nuttiness needs an Ari Aster and vice versa. So it's kind of a match made in heaven and you're seeing, you're seeing that. It's two creatives at the height of their powers bearing down on something, on material. And that reminds you of the greats. It might reminds you of the Scorsese's and the De Niro's of this world, you know. Speaking on Scorsese, he turned around and, and, and kind of called it a masterpiece and said that Ariesta is one of the most important filmmakers and just said that the film was just reminded him of some of the great movies. And I can see exactly now that I've seen it, uh, what he means. I think that Scorsese on that note was uh, very right. I guess he knows it when he sees it. He is Scorsese after all. The thing about it is, is that oftentimes when you, when people announce a new voice, they're often a good voice, but not necessarily an original voice. Because like I said earlier, it's original, originality is, isn't easy. And most people, you can see and feel their influences, you know? I think that Ari Aster with Bo is Afraid, I'm sure that there are more seasoned cinephiles than myself who, who, who will be able to better reference Bo is Afraid. But but I also think that for, for the average cinephile, I think this film will feel at least fresh and possibly original. It really does take courage to go, I'm gonna do this thing and risk having it be compared to nothing and, and therefore be hated because it might just be ahead of its time. That's all she wrote in regards to what I have to say about Bo is Afraid. It, it, it definitely will register in your psyche, in your soul, in your mind. And bravo, whether you love it or whether you don't. Get out, go see it. If you like this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up to support this channel. Ta. So as many of you know, I'm also a filmmaker. Consider watching my stuff and sharing your thoughts. The episodes can be found here and probably here. We've made a little web series. Do check it out, share your thoughts and donate if you can. There's lots of giveaways and the link can be found below in the description.